Hi, I'm Isma Goldstein. Today we're going to be walking in the steps of the Zodiac. Just pulled up on the crime scene. I'm a little nervous about what we're going to find, but I can feel it in the air. We're going to find something juicy. So, we're here in San Francisco on the corner of Washington and Cherry Street. This is the site of where the Zodiac Killer killed Paul Stein. So, follow me, follow me. So, this is the corner where he was killed, right about where this um, BMW is. Right here. Again, corner of Washington and Cherry. Let's go investigate the crime scene. Oh, is that the blood stain? <laughs> As you can see, there used to be a tree here back when the murder took place. I believe that it was part of evidence and the police removed it. This is an ancient fire system. This same exact one was here when the Zodiac killed the man right there. Most likely, he went by and probably touched it, gave it a little pat like I'm doing here. My hand is essentially where the Zodiacs was. Yeah, they sound like this. <laughs> um, the people who actually saw the Zodiac Killer were right there in that window, right across the street. It was three teenagers. They called it in. And when the police came, they found the, the taxi cab right here with the driver, poor Paul Stein, dead in the passenger seat. Oh, look, there's a policeman right there. Another crime. <laughs> We just saw an ambulance and police go by. We believe that the Zodiac Killer is back and just murdered somebody less than a block away. So we're going to investigate. Come with us. Imagine yourself. Three scared teenagers looking from the window on a man shooting a cab driver and walking away. Now, you may be wondering, where did the Zodiac Killer go from there? More about Zodiac's killer was seen walking up Cherry Street. Do you see a map? We're gonna go up Cherry Street to Jackson, <laughs> over a block, all the way to Clay Spruce. I mean, where he went to J.K. Park. So, follow us. So right now, we're walking in the exact steps the Zodiac killer walked. We are walking on holy ground right now. Um, now we're walking down Jackson, Jackson Street. Young blood. <laughs> oh. Imagine Young blood. It's about a three minute walk from from the killing to this corner. Three minutes. Give them give him just the amount of time to run away. Okay. On this corner right here is where the police driving by, responding to the call, saw the Zodiac Killer walking, but thought they were looking for a black man, so just continued on. So he walked one more block this way to the street, where he um, took refuge in Julius Kahn Playground, which is our next destination. My armpit hurts, I'm holding my phone. <laughs> pushing on, pushing on, pushing on. Why is this song so nice? We're just listening to on the radio. <laughs> Sorry for that brief interruption. <laughs> Follow us as we continue. Be careful. Very uneven pavement here. Maybe that so, happened to the Zodiac Killer too. Yeah. So we're almost to Spruce Street where we will hang a, a left and um, continue towards Julius Kahn. Okay, we're here in Spruce and Jackson. We go half a block that way and you can see we're going to enter Julius Kahn Park, which is the same place the Zodiac Killer went to evade the police. Oh my god. 
So, as you can see here, this park has a lot of wood greenery that the Zodiac Killer likely hid in. So, we're going to take you in a, a little bit of that. So, we're walking into the woods here. Um, as you can see, it's pretty dense. A lot of places for a Zodiac Killer to hide. Follow me. If we see a coyote, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Ow. Nature. Oh! Really got it. Go through the bushes here. Could this be evidence of the Zodiac Killer or just dog poop? <laughs> You'll find out in next week's episode. <gasps> Was that the Zodiac Killer? Okay.